I guess you could say I have somewhat covered because like I, I I I saw Casey Golden do this to her prompt book where she covered up her prompt so that she could be surprised for what was coming and I want to do the same um so I'm not doing it for the I know I'll probably be able to get through two prompts today one is one I've already gone through another one is something I've never even touched before uh so we are going to yeah so I think I've gotten this page done so I can actually take this one off because today the first prompt we'll be working on is an anchor and as you can see my little illustration gang over here I created my own little collage of what I guess anchor said to me so I have like a lighthouse and anchor um, first or and I guess considered one I don't know I guess and I was trying to do an anchor so one anchor okay So we'll be working on that one as soon as I get the rest of these sticky notes down on a piece of paper. Okay. So this is where I'm last stuck at to go so I can reference this when I am working on the, whatchamacallit. So I did, like I did yesterday, I did pull in some references from Pinterest to kind of get me thinking of where I want to go with this illustration um, and we're on a new page so we'll be on this page here which is kind of warped because of the amount of water I put on this one yesterday but it should be all right I think um, so I am thinking of pulling in the lighthouse with the anchor since that's something I've already drawn. But looking at Pinterest though, I did get some inspiration. I did try to pull in like the waves from here, but I don't think I, like it, it looks, this is like very confusing. Um, Yeah, anyway. So I'm not sure exactly what I will be pulling out with this. I don't know why my hands itch so very much, my gosh. Okay. Put the scissors away for now. Let me get the washi tape. So I can go ahead and put up the border for this. If I sound congested, I'm sorry. The weather changed on us again. So it's not as warm as it was yesterday. Then I also thought about doing a collage of anchors. Like I did a collage of rolling pins yesterday. But I... <laughs> I don't know about that just yet. Drawing a bunch of anchors. Okay, so we're all the way down, all the way across. Okay, I have my I have new water because the other water was very very dirty. Um, I have the three brushes I used yesterday. So I am going to put this to the side all the way over there and we are going to maybe I should look up lighthouses as well because I know those are kind of like um they're like barrel shaped they're cylinder like looking okay what if okay so I'm thinking I'm thinking as I'm going so what if we have like a sun part here like the sun is going down here and then the, the, so, and then I do like the rays. So the sun goes all the way over this way, the rays of it do. And let's say this wave is getting ready to hit here. Okay, this looks very unorganized, but it's the best I got right now. This one was is gonna give me problems, I know. 
So gently erase so I can get the line art down. Don't press too hard, Leona. Okay. Okay, so I did pull in, so since this marker was going out yesterday, I did pull in some Sharpies, but I'm not sure if Sharpies are waterproof. If I, if this, if I end up having to use this one and I run out of ink with this one, I'll go ahead and move to these. But I think for right to now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this part done and then I'm going to Okay, so let me hold off on this side until I actually get um, this done or this part of it done. It doesn't have to be perfect. I actually kind of like when the lines are imperfect like that because it kind of it shows wear and tear just a little bit, just a smidgen. And then now we can do the bricks. Oh shoot, deadline. Okay, so I did. So it's, the sun creeps in slightly. Um, or, this is so fun, okay. Okay, I love this. Oh, I forgot the mirror, or the window. But I guess the window doesn't matter because I have all these accessories at the top. Cool beans, I like this. I don't know why this is fun, but it is. And the only reason I pull stuff up from Pinterest is to just give me some idea exactly of what it is that I want to create, what I want it to look like, just to kind of get the creative juices flowing so that I at least stay somewhat within the wheelhouse. Um, especially if it's not something that I've looked at often enough that I could just plug it from my brain. Okay, so that is our anchor. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we have an anchor sun with the sun rays. We have the water. And we have a lighthouse. So let me give y'all a close up of the actual line art. And I think the only reason that this, this pen is really um, acting up is because of the texture of the paper. Um, the texture isn't really, it's, it's not, I think it's hot press. Cause cold press I think has actual, but hot press isn't like straight flat either. So I don't know, I forget which one is which. Hmm. Okay, so the only downside is, so paintbrush nib. Wide enough space that I will actually need this. What is this, a number 12? And this is a number eight. Do I have a number 10? Well, I'm pretty sure I do. This is a 16, 14. Oh, I think this might be my like number 10 right here. I never did uh, organize anything, so this is a number 10. So I think I'm going to go with these two. So I'm going to go with a number 2 for details, a number 8, and a number 10. But I'm also thinking... I don't know, maybe the number 8 and number 10 are a little bit too close in size let me see okay because this one no so if this is a number 10 i think i'm gonna go down to a number six for my medium size brush okay so none of these okay yeah i honestly have to organize and what is this one this is a number six. This is a number six. Great. Cool. So this is a number six, a 10, and a two. Yeah. Yeah. So these are three different enough brushes that I feel like I can do what I got to do. So those go there. Okay. So color wise. So in the... So in this sketch from the actual book, I used a brick red almost, which I think would be my Rose Madden Deep, which is number 36 for my Kuretake Ganzai Tanbi watercolors. And then I made my anchor this blue. 
but I'm looking at, I think this will be a great indigo. Like if I make the anchor indigo and then it make my um, lighthouse a rose madden deep color. And then the water will be a mixture between Viridian and turquoise blue. So Viridian is number 55. No. Yes. <laughs> Viridian is number 55. Turquoise blue is number 62. So I think those two colors, like uh, blending them really, really well, I think will be a perfect water color. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. But for the sun's rays, I think that's gonna be a combination of cadmium scarlet and lemon yellow. So let me get those colors together. Ooh, matter of fact, now that I'm thinking about it, let me actually, I want to, like block out this door. Because it's like, it's dark in there. There's not really much, um, there's nothing in there, pretty much. So I just wanna go ahead and fill that in. Now I can put this to the side and I think, what did I say for the, so I think I want to work on the actual water first which would be a turquoise blue. You know what? I just thought about it. Um, the color for the sun can't be cadmium scarlet and ye lemon yellow because what's the sun gonna look like then? So what I'm thinking is that it can be, the sun would be the cadmium, cadmium scarlet and the rays, I guess you would call it, would be red and lemon yellow. I don't know if this looks like water. I just know that when the ocean sprays or when at, this, at a certain part in the water, it has a green tinge to it. That's what I'm saying. These illustrations, I'm not, you know, 100% sure on a lot of stuff but this is just me experimenting just trying my hand at it maybe i can draw like little fishies in it maybe that'll add a better nautical scenery than what i got going on because <laughs> this isn't i guess i don't know um okay <laughs> yeah slightly blending in but I guess that's okay. So skip that one, this one. Oh, we're getting more detailed. Oh boy. So I'm gonna let those dry. And see, what is dry over here? So I can go ahead and do the anchor. Oop! I knew there was something I forgot. Use this one. And pull in some Viridian for, okay. I'm gonna pull in Big Boy and we're going to do the lighthouse. And I'm gonna do the whole thing this color and then I'm gonna darken the bricks. Okay. And then the door and this is gonna be gray.
Surprisingly, seeing how drenched we did the other page yesterday. Surprised at how well this page is holding up. So I think it is um, 200 GSM. This is Leona breaking up your regularly scheduled program to share with you all my actual shop donation commission blog post hub. This is where I share all my really, really great updates of things that I'm working on. This is where I post my products for my shop. I have a lot of printable and digital goodies for y'all to download immediately. Um, and depending on what video you're watching, I possibly have the very thing you're watching me create already in the shop. So if you would just take the moment, take the time, take the moment to actually go to my Ko-Fi page, which will be linked down in the description and or the pinned comments, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are able to donate or even purchase from the shop, again, I will greatly appreciate it because it does help me continue to do what I do. Thank y'all so much and back to your regularly scheduled program. Well, I think I'm done pretty much with this one. Yeah. It's not my best. I do honestly will say that this loads better than what was actually in the book, which was here. Loads better. Um, or maybe not loads better, but like more fleshed out. I want to say... Um, I think the composition of colors I didn't really have a plan going in and I guess I don't know what I had in my head and what I put on the the anchor looks out of place like if I had took the anchor off and left everything else together it looks like grass and I don't know I don't know but it is an illustration it is something that I just put together hodgepodge um yeah yeah it has a has personality to it I guess you could say and now I gotta figure out where these washies start at and where, okay. I guess it starts here and I just take it down from there. But putting a washi border on your actual art pieces, especially if you're painting, it does help to um, kind of keep things in order so that you don't have paint everywhere. And I'm also loving this water paper because my watercolor paper that I started with when I first started watercoloring, I used to peel up the washi tape and my gosh, it used to take the paper with it. It destroyed many uh, artwork because of how bad <laughs> the paper quality was. So this is my anchor illustration. Where's my pen? <laughs> I do like the sun rays. I did a, wa uh, a digital wallpaper 
that hopefully I'll have in my coffee shop soon that had this type of um, theme with it, if you if you call it that. Um, yeah. I can't believe y'all just I'm just moseying on through this ooh, excuse me this sketchbook and it being my first one I thought it would be a disaster like being my first sketchbook this is my first sketchbook I thought it was gonna be a disaster I hate that I got paint on this on this page but I'm not stressing it really so while that page is still drying I'm gonna prep this page and then we're gonna unveil the next prompt getting there so I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there for later and hold up get an email there is okay whatever and we're gonna unveil this bad boy so dun dun dun, dun. a skunk <laughs> a skunk who thunk it so if you all don't know i am very bad with animals and people with my illustrations and that being said uh, <laughs> i don't know how the heck i'm gonna do this one and so yeah a skunk oh my gosh okay so <laughs> I am on Pinterest and uh, let me say skunk illustration. I don't care if it's cute. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, this one is adorable. Right here. This is flipping adorable. So I'm gonna save that in that one. Um, a Pepe Le Pew from Looney Tunes. Uh. I don't know if I want to. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to actually draw like a real character. Ooh, a raccoon is a good reimagining. A raccoon is a great reimagining. What about a pattern of white, black, and white and black? Like just a simple pattern of. But that chunky one really is really speaking to me really 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 speaking to me hmm and then maybe if I draw a skunk I can draw like flowers around it or like an animal that has skunk like features I can draw a flower like this one like this one can go so oh gosh okay I got it okay so we're gonna go where are we going Okay, so we're gonna go to Doodle Inspiration, which is what I put. So this one is too flipping cute. It's too flipping cute. And I'm thinking, what if I does these not? Okay, maybe not. Okay, but then this one's like if I like do like little mushrooms. And stuff like that. I don't know why my nose is running now. Mm. Okay, let's see if I expand. If I can just expand this. Um, let me get some. Let me sketch an idea. That's what I'm gonna use this part for. I'm gonna sketch some ideas, and we're going to look at some stuff. So let me go ahead and transfer y'all back over to the whatchamacallits and we're gonna sketch some stuff out because that chunky one just has me just ugh, I'm just so in love okay so no I don't know what the heck that was okay a skunk oh boy so cuz I'm thinking also of Bambi I'm thinking Bambi and if I'm thinking Bambi, the skunk from Bambi, <laughs> I keep saying Bambi because I like the way it sounds. Um, okay, so what if I, dang it, 
Okay, okay, maybe I almost want to do like the avatar arrow down and something like that. So if I make like a, um, but it's not <laughs> Okay, so how do you make a chunky boy? Oh well. Yeah, that looks weird as heck. <laughs> it looks like a hamster. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it because I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is that was creepy. That is scary. Yeah. A side scope. Uh what is it? A right facing skull illustration. Um, okay, boom. Okay, I got one. No, I don't need to save it. Or maybe I do, just so I know for reference where I got it from. Okay. So for its size, so this is the mohawk. And that's why this is, this is going to be where the head's going to be at. I don't know exactly what the surrounding is. Ooh, I could, just, I could do a um, collage of mushrooms and flowers. This is why it's cool to have drawing tools or just like any tools that's what I, I tell my nephews this all the time that just because you might not use it anymore there we go oh that is a cool mohawk if i could just that is absolutely hilarious okay so we have the back of the skull we have the mohawk okay um i'm not too sure about this little doohickey here i mean i know it connects to the back of the skull but <laughs> now it looks like a ram's head like a, a ram's horn i guess it is like a ram's a ram's head skull like human like skull and then i guess when it comes to mushrooms oh i feel like my nose is finna itch or i'm finna sneeze the last time I drew a skull was for my Gothic Reader collection that I released in the shop. Okay, so that's that's the skull shape. I think I think it came out okay considering considering the last time I drew a skull was in digital art and it's easier to undo in digital art than it is to do it in traditional. You don't have an undo button. You just have a I don't know, some way it looks like someone like this, but <laughs> like to show the directional way that it's going, I guess. I guess. I don't know. It still looks like the head is opening up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, why am I closing up the pen? Oh gosh, Liana. Okay, so I know that's a weird looking mushroom. But I guess because I, I guess because mushrooms just have weird looks to them already. Some of these I'm just going off the fly. Uh, let's see what other type of mushroom can I make? What other type of mushrooms are there? I don't want to do an, I don't I don't want to do anything from Last of Us. That is too traumatizing. Um. Mm, now I'm drawing a blank. Okay, maybe I can do something. 
okay it's like okay if i depend on how i look at the the skull with the the mohawk it looks right and then other times it looks wrong like I, <sighs> something like i like a separation something to separate it from okay so i did not i don't want to oh but I think if I color the entire background, I won't be able to color in the actual illustrations. So I think for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color this yellow okra to create separation from it So in the, the mohawk. feels like I'm speeding up I'm kind of am because time is getting the best of me and okay, so I think that's all the yellow no it's not and I kind of almost I want to finish this I don't want to leave anything to tomorrow
why this illustration tickles me so. Oh, but it tickles me. So we did a skunk. <laughs> a skunk skull mohawk. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did I get paint all over myself? So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave this as such because I don't know. I don't know what else to do with it. If that makes sense. But yeah, we have a skunk skull with flowers and mushrooms all around its head. Maybe they represent death. I don't know. I absolutely do not know. Maybe I should have went with my first mind and colored the background. I don't know. I absolutely do not know. But we did it from slight sketch to, or concept sketch to finalization. We did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are the two illustrations we did today. Um, an anchor. And let me put down, what is this? This is, that's horrible penmanship, but I had to just squeeze that up in there. <laughs> So yeah, we got a skunk. So yeah, we're doing, I think we're doing a pretty good job of breezing through these. But compared to what this looked like, yeah, I'm glad I went with the skull. I'm glad I did something weird. Something true to who I am as a creator. Something dark. Y'all know how I do, but I'm really surprised by how well the white watercolor came through that made me happy so let me move on over to the outro see ya